Hey, today we'll be talking about cell growth and cell division. Cell growth is pretty self-explanatory. It's where cells grow. As cells grow, the more nutrients and healthier become, really. The larger a cell becomes, the more demands it actually puts on its DNA, causing it to be harder for nutrients to actually get to the cell membrane, which is a no bueno. When a cell is small, the information stored in that DNA is able to meet all of the cell's needs. Yet, as it increases in size, it usually does not make extra copies of DNA. An example of a cell having more of a difficult time functioning efficiently than a smaller cell is like a library. As more people come to this library, the more crowded it becomes, making it a lot harder for orders to be made for books that are new because they've already been checked out. Cell division is a process by which cell divides into two new daughter cells. Before cell division, the cell has to replicate itself. Each daughter cell is given the same genetic information, kind of like a genetic library. In eukaryotes, cell division occurs in two major stages, mitosis and cytokinesis. To sum it up, these two stages allow the cell to divide and successfully replicate itself. On this diagram, you can see interphase, G1 phase, following after is S phase, and then G2 phase. Interphase is very important because of these three phases. During this phase, cells increase in size and synthesize new proteins and organelles. Followed by G1 phase is S phase, in which chromosomes are replicated and the synthesis of DNA molecules take place. In this phase, molecules required for cell division are produced. When the events of G2 phase are completed, the cell is ready to enter M phase. The first and longest phase of mitosis is prophase. Prophase can take as much as 50 to 60% of the total time required to complete mitosis. Followed by prophase is metaphase. This phase only lasts a few minutes. In this phase, chromosomes line up across the center of the cell. Followed by metaphase is anaphase. Anaphase is the third phase of mitosis. During this phase, sister chromatids are allowed to separate and become individual chromosomes. Followed by anaphase is the final phase of mitosis, which is telophase. In this phase, each sister chromatid has a nucleus that is fully developed. Followed by the telophase is cytokinesis, which allows each cell to be fully and completely developed.